Electric trams have efficient motors, but in winter it can cost transport companies more to keep the passengers warm than to move them. Belgian transport company Delane has come up with a package of solutions to save energy and money on that heating bill. Trams are a quiet and efficient way of providing inner city transport. But in winter, the frequent stops mean letting all the warm air out and heating the interior again every few minutes. Unlike diesel and petrol engines, the tram's electric motors don't produce any waste heat that can be used to keep passengers warm. The heating demands more electricity, a lot of it, to heat air drawn in from outside. This mobility ticket has a bad name. We shouldn't call this mobility ticket. We should call this heating ticket because the heating of the interior of a tram in wintertime costs more than riding from A to B. Patrick de Boeuf is responsible for the trams at Delane's East Flanders depot. One of our technicians said, Mr. de Boeuf, do you know how much hot air is going out every time that we open the doors? Now with this smoke, we try to visualize how much hot air, how much money is coming out of the tram car every time that we open the double doors. You see our money flowing away. But then I start thinking and um, I'm coming every day by bike. My head is, is working every morning very quickly. And uh, during my ride, um, I was thinking how could we modify so that we use less energy for heating uh, the, the whole system. Patrick came up with a package of modifications which taken together make a 20% energy saving. One is a valve in the ventilation system to divert the intake to recirculate the air when the air quality inside the tram is good enough. There's air coming from inside the tram which is already a little bit hot which is um, heated again but you need much less energy than when it's uh, outside uh, air. The valve is controlled by a carbon dioxide sensor which constantly monitors the air quality and takes in cold, fresh air only when it's needed. So I think it's the first time in the world that we are using CO2 uh, sensors um, for uh, trams. This device here, I found it in the places where, we, where they um, cultivate uh, vegetables and where they cultivate pigs. How does it work in the very different environment of a tram car? There are two heating containers on top, right on top of us here. They are sucking all the time, constantly, air from here. It's heated in the heating container. Concentration of CO2 is measured constantly and the hot air is coming back to here and to those holes. There are other modifications that add to the energy saving. One of my colleagues pointed me the fact that the hot air is blown out, not just going out, it's blown out because of the big fans. So one of the modifications that we have done, if the heating system is on and one or more doors are opened, then we make the fan turn very much lower than normally so that we don't push out our hot air, our very expensive hot air. They've also turned down the heating realizing that in winter most people are appropriately dressed. The combined measures will mean a 20% annual energy saving to the lane. Well, the advantage for uh, us is mainly financial. So uh, to summarize, it uh, saves us about 200,000 euros each year. Patrick's modifications mean that this energy saving comes at no cost to passenger comfort. Are you aware of the fact that we are in a special tram at this moment, which is modified? About the heating and... No, I'm not aware of it. No. You don't know what the reason is why they use 20% less energy? No. No. The measures to save on heating bills have now been built into Delane's specifications for new trams and electric buses and fitted where possible to the existing fleet. Okay.